in a cell cycle consider interface is present and um, the division phase so interface uh, is a time gap between two successive mitotic divisions so that means uh, the interface the when the cell is undergoing mitosis after completion of uh, one mitosis the cell will uh, prepare itself for the next division that stage where the cell is preparing itself for the next division is called as the interface which is further divided into g1 s and g2 phases whereas division phase is further divided into karyokinesis and cytokinesis so likewise uh, the cell cycle can be divided into for the stages after cytokinesis the cell will enter into next cell cycle so the next cell cycle once again will start with the interface earlier cell cycle the earlier cell cycle will have been uh, stopped with the cytokinesis so likewise uh, this is a first cell cycle second and the next and the next likewise the changes will be taking place so in this process the cell cycle out of the entire uh, changes which are taking place the cells in the cell cycle interface is considered to be the longest phase which will take more time generally it is not compulsory that all animals or all plants should have the same time period for uh, interface so here for human beings it is uh, 24 hours out of the 24 hours g1 will account for 10 hours s phase accounts for 9 hours g2 phase accounts for 4 hours and uh, mitotic phase or the division phase accounts for 1 hour likewise the uh, total cell cycle is operated for the 24 hours out of this uh, the 23 hours are uh, for interface let's take the example of uh, yeast in the yeast the to entire process uh, will be completed within 20 minutes whereas in some bacteria the entire process of uh, cell cycle will be operated will be completed in about 20 minutes 18 to 20 minutes likewise the time taken for cell cycle is different from is different for different types of living organisms like in the human beings the, the time taken for cell cycle is 24 hours in yeast it is 90 minutes in bacteria it is 20 minutes in some of them it may be extended for days or sometimes weeks or years together also depending upon the metabolic activities which are performed by the organism and also the environmental conditions prevailing surrounding that living organism here in the living organisms there are two types of divisions are there one is called indirect divisions and other is called as a direct division in the indirect division the spindle fiber formation is present which is by either the mitosis or mitotic division or meiosis or meiotic division is taking place while in the lower organisms like in bacteria and in some protozoans like in uh, paramecium where the nucleus will divide directly without the formation of spindle apparatus that is called as a direct type of division so that process of division is called as amitosis the type of division is called as amitosis let's uh, discuss about the amitosis which is taking place in the bacteria in bacteria the amitosis will occurs by a process called as binary fission where it as it is a unicellular organism the constriction will appear in the cytoplasm and in the cell wall so that is moving towards the center in the centripetal manner so leading to the formation of two daughter cells so in this process Consider this is a bacteria. 
with uh, cell wall and uh, cytoplasmic content. Here in this one, the nucleus will be present. The nucleus first it will elongate. That will elongate first and it will be divided in it will divide into two daughter nuclei within the bacterial cell but at the same time a small constriction will start in the protoplasmic content on both the sides particularly this will occur in the place of uh, mesosomes so these are the daughter nuclei that have been formed and at the same time a constriction will start on both the sides so this constriction will gradually move towards the center so it will move in a centripetal manner that is from periphery to the center and uh, gradually it will divide the cytoplasm into two equal halves and already the proto already the nucleus have been divided so we can say that uh, two daughter protoplasms have been formed at the same time a constriction will start in the cell wall and that uh, constriction which is formed in the cell wall will also move in the centripetal manner that will divide the bacteria into two daughter bacteria like this and the so formed two ba daughter bacteria are structurally and uh, morphologically similar to each of them and they are not only similar to each of them but also similar to the parent cell and they will increase in its size and converted into the independent bacteria organisms so this is a way how the uh, nucleus is first elongated and divided later the cytoplasmic contents also divided to form into two daughter are distributed between the two daughter organisms so this type of uh, division where there is no spindle formation directly the nucleus is divided so we call it as a direct type of division or amitosis which is uh, considered to be the primitive type of uh, division